what's going on with the George Floyd story that just came out? So it actually turns out, Pat, that Derek Chauvin didn't kill George Floyd. It was either China or Mexico because new court documents reveal that George Floyd died of a fentanyl overdose and not from asphyxiation or strangulation. Okay, and the reason, Pat, this is random, that the court documents came to light is because Amy Sweezy, she's a former Hennepin County, Minnesota prosecutor who was suing her employer, alleging she was a sex victim of discrimination and retaliation. And P.S., Hennepin County is entirely Democrat, so we all know Democrats don't always find it necessary to follow their loudly stated rules. Anyway, so the reason her lawsuit matters is because guess where George Floyd died? Hennepin County. And depositions in her case make it clear that the prosecutors always knew that Derek Chauvin and the other three police did not kill George Floyd. So, Pat, there were no medical findings that showed any injury to the vital structures of Mr. Floyd's neck. There were no medical indications of asphyxia or strangulation. That's right. Uh, he said to me, Amy, what happens when the actual evidence doesn't match up with the public narrative that everyone's already decided on? And he said, this is the kind of case that ends career. So the other depositions from other attorneys in the office show that the decision to prosecute Chauvin was purely political, Pat, and the prosecutors feared the mob, and they were happy uh, to go after the police. This is why I believe we need to create a new community called the anti-jump-to-conclusion community. I love it. We need an anti-jump-to-conclusion party, anti-jump-to-conclusion mindset. Mm -hmm. Everybody is jumping to conclusion right now and capitalizing off the opportunity. I mean, those people need to be held accountable. The people that are instigating that's leading to stuff like this should also be held accountable. If you uh, went against I, them, then you were called a racist. You lost your job. There yeah. was a high school wrestling coach that showed if he put his knee on his wrestling you know, student's shoulder for up to 10 minutes, it didn't stop anything. He lost his job. The kid got you know, ridiculed. And we all know this from UFC. 20 minutes, he's saying, I can't breathe. I can't breathe. How long in a UFC match do you put in a choke before they tap out or end the match? How many, how many seconds? Oh, uh, oh shit. Ten, Five seconds, ten, 10 seconds. 15, yeah. they're going like this. <laughs> they're yeah. You don't do 20 minutes, I can't breathe. That was just a, a psychological operative just to destroy our country.